Oh, in the Tower of London lodges life. <laughs> Built suspense. <laughs> the ghost of Anne Boleyn walks, they declare. See, more suspense. For Anne Boleyn was once King Henry's wife. Until he had the axe man bob her hair. Oh yes, he did it wrong long years ago. Uh, thank you. And she stops in each night to tell him so. Oh, with her head tucked underneath her arm, she walks the bloody tower. With her head tucked underneath her arm in the midnight hour. She walks the drafty corridors, for miles and miles she goes. She sometimes catches cold, poor thing, it's cold there when it blows. It's awfully awkward for the queen when she has to blow her nose. With her head tucked underneath her arm, with her head tucked underneath her arm, she walks the bloody tower. With her head uh, tucked underneath her arm in the midnight hour. She's going to catch King Henry to give him just what for. She's going to have to tell him off for having spilled her gore. <sighs> and just in case the axe man wants to give her an encore, she's got her head tucked underneath her arm with her head tucked underneath her arm she walks the bloody tower with her head uh, tucked underneath her arm in the midnight hour now sometimes good king henry throws a spread for the lords and ladies in his ghostly crew the axe man carves the joint and cuts the bread then Anne Bowling stops in to queer the do. She holds her head up with a wild war. Ooh, 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 ooh. And Henry says, don't drop that in the soup. With her head tucked underneath her arm, she walks the bloody tower. With her head uh, tucked underneath her arm in the midnight hour. One day she caught King Henry down in the castle bar. Says he are Eugene Seymour and Boleyn or Catherine Parr. For how in the sweet centurion should I know who you are? You've got your head tucked underneath your arm. Now we know who the English history majors are in the audience. <laughs>